Hi there. Hi there. Thank you for stopping by to share with Julie today. I hope you're having a fantabulous day. Well, today I want to look at the eight most allergenic foods. You know, there are about 160 foods that are considered to be allergenic, but there are eight that, you know, causes most of the problems. But before we look at the eight foods, I just want to, you know, go into a distinction between food intolerances and food allergens. And a food intolerance is the body's inability to digest a particular food or more than one food for uh, you know any number of reasons which include you know the body not producing the necessary enzyme to digest that food it could be as a result of IBS irritable bowel syndrome you know celiac disease um, it could be from stress or even food poisoning so these are some of the causes or the rather the main causes for food intolerance and one can experience the symptoms of a food intolerance up to two hours after you know the consumption of that um, particular food symptoms can include diarrhea bloating feeling a, a bit you know lightheaded and just feeling um, not so good you know so those are some of the symptoms of food intolerances that uh, you know some of the common symptoms food a food allergy on the other hand which is often um, you know people say they have a food al allergy when in fact what they have it is an intolerance um, much less people suffer from food allergies than they do food intolerances. Now, the a food allergy, I mean, it doesn't take as long for you to see a reaction as with food intolerance. The reaction is immediate. And whereas with the food intolerance, what is the, what what is happening is that you know the problem is localized to your digestive system with food allergies it is not so the immune system springs into reaction into action rather and you know several organs can be affected as a result because the body sees the food as an allergen and something that you know a foreign body that is is not supposed to be in the body and so in the, the symptoms can be varied you know it can be mild and some in some instances it can be really severe and I mean severe in the case where it has led to death so that's so serious um, a food allergy can be and some of the symptoms can be you know swelling of the eyelids swelling around the mouth, the tongue, itching of the skin, you know, itching of the skin. And in some instances, in severe instances, it, it, in some instances rather, it can cause severe symptoms. Um, I mean, such as, you know, suffocation because the swelling of the throat, you know, blocks the ear passage and anaphylactic shock you know it can cause um, it, it can be pretty serious um, if you suffer from a food allergy so when you see the signs you know when you see signs that you're having some kind of reaction to any particular food that you have consumed you have to take note because it can be mild at one point and it can be severe the next time you experience um, those symptoms. So on to the, as I noted, there are 160 foods that are considered, um, you know, foods that we should keep an eye on because they have been known to cause allergic reactions. But of these, there are eight, the eight that cause the most problems are 
milk, eggs, crustaceans, which are, for example, lobster, shrimps, you know, those are crustaceans, um, fish, um, nuts, that's tree nuts, such as almond nuts and pecans, and um, peanuts, soya bean, and also wheat. Those are your eight most allergenic foods. So, you know, make a note, you know, you have to like be careful, you know, of, you know, these food noticing, of taking stock of the symptoms because one never know when a reaction could be um, an, an allergy as, a, as opposed to an intolerance. But in general, and in general, you, you want to avoid foods that causes you problems. And there are treatments in that, you know, for food allergies, you know, you completely eliminate these foods from your diet. And there are also um, ways in which you could work with certain trained professionals to, you know, start eating those foods little by little. But I say, you know, why risk it? If you have, if you're allergic to it, you know, don't bother, don't bother consuming it. And it is important, it's interesting to know the foods that also make up the list of the food that are allergenic because a lot of these foods are so modified in some ways or the other, you know, like for example, wheat. The wheat we consume today is nothing like the wheat the wheat that existed many, 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 many years ago. And soya bean is so GMO now. I mean, it has been um, gen genetically modified in, in so many ways. I mean, soya bean as we know it now is, is almost an unnatural food. So we have to look at these foods, you know, it, it tells a story unto itself. But anyway, just um, bear those in mind. Those are the, more, the eight most allergenic foods and I'll just go through it again quickly. It's milk, eggs, um, tree nuts, peanuts, fish, crustaceans, wheat, and soya beans. I hope you found this useful. Subscribe to my channel, like and share my videos. Don't forget be the change you'd like to see in this world. Have a fantabulous day today. Ta-ta!